Today we're going to talk about Cue Sheets and the Cue List Editor. Cue Sheets can be used to move sequentially through cues within a scene. Using an advanced Cue Sheet Go Trigger, key down messages are sent to the scene. You can define what is used to trigger the Go Trigger, whether that be MIDI, keyboard, or HID. The Cue List Editor allows you to define the function of each trigger. The Cue Sheet provides a convenient way to view the upcoming cue. This scene itself is running via cues and the Cue Sheet and the Cue Sheet Editor. You can see the Cue Sheet here, where the Cue Sheet Editor window is here, and you can see that I've defined five cues. Each cue has a description, as well as the key that is sent being defined. My Q1, I am sending the number one as a key trigger. Q2, number two. Q3, number three. Q4, number four. And Q5, number five. Within the scene, I am receiving these cues with the keyboard watcher. Again, referencing number one, two, three, four, and five. And sending new text into the text draw actor as I move through the cues. We can take another look at this. Here I am back at the beginning of the cue sheet. You can see that the next cue is what? If I trigger the cue with my go trigger, the what cue is triggered. We can see that it is that cues can be used to move sequentially through cues within a scene. It's great. The next cue is how. I will trigger it. How is using an advanced cue sheet, go trigger, etc., etc. Go triggers can be edited under the Scenes menu under Edit Go Triggers. By default, we typically use the Next Scene trigger, and this is often defined as Spacebar. At the end of our direction list, we have Advance Cue Sheet. When we advance the Cue Sheet, we can again select either keyboard, MIDI, or HID. Here I'm using the keyboard, and I've selected to use the Alt or Option key in combination with Spacebar as my Go Trigger. If I press Alt and Spacebar, you can see a new cue is fired. Once again, another cue, and once again, my last cue. If I press Spacebar alone, the next scene trigger will occur. Separate go triggers. Okay, now let's add some cues to a scene. This scene is prepared with five different trigger points. You can see here one animation, a second animation, third, fourth, and fifth. What we want to do is add keyboard watchers for each one of these. And because we used numbers for the last demo scene, we will use letters this time. The default of A will be our first letter. I will enter B for the second trigger, C for the third trigger, D for the fourth, and E for the fifth. Additionally, I'm going to show us how we can add one more cue that can play the same role as your standard Go trigger. So here, I'm going to put F and connect that to a jump actor. And I'm going to add a uh, four seconds of fade. Okay, so now that we have all of our keyboard watchers in place, I will quickly connect them up. And we can see that pressing A will start an animation. 
B C D E and F is our jump to the next scene. Okay, perfect. We'll come back into here. We will check our scene edit go triggers just to make sure we have the right keys selected. Advanced cue sheet. It's still option with space. Okay, that's great. We now go to Windows, show cue list editor. Okay, so your, your window should open up empty like this. And the first cue that we're gonna add is our start. I'm just gonna call it start and give it a number of one, a description of one. And it's going to send the letter A. Perfect. So we have that. Next, I'm going to call this Q2. Two, two. And it's going to be B. Add another. Q3. Oops. C. Another. Q4. That's D. Um, I think I forgot. Oh, we'll check that again later. Q5. That's going to be E. And lastly, we'll call this one leave because it's going to be our jump. And that is a letter F. So we have a start, which is one, two, three. Well, didn't put three there. Add three to our description. Four. Oh. Hold on, four in there and five in there. Leave will be exit. Just make that like that. So now that is all we actually need to do to configure these triggers. Now let's run through a scene where I've written in a few more descriptions for each one of these cues. Here you can see Q1 called start has the description of start animation square equals green. Square is green. If I now press the go trigger, that animation will run. The cue sheet updates to say step two, once the square is mustered, the square is now mustered. So I can hit the go trigger, move ahead. Once again, it tells me that once the square is red, I can do my next cue. It's teal once again. Oh, it's blue. My last cue. There we are. At pink, the scene is done, and my next trigger is to jump to the next scene. Go trigger, and away we go. You can note that this scene now has no cues within it at all, and the cue sheet doesn't display anything other than showing you the current scene and the next scene in the scene list. I hope that gives you a quick little introduction to cues how they might be used, and how they might serve you well in the future.